Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and for all of my new subscribers welcome 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 and know that I got another channel it's called Deb D-E-B D is in deer E is in egg B is in boy Deb Chanel 48's world okay and y'all will see it I put something towards the end of the video if you waited that long to watch the whole video uh, go on over there and subscribe. That's my main channel. And I established that first, and we're moving and grooving over there. But I wanted to do another channel. So that's why we're on here calling, uh, looking at videos and commentating on them and trying to find some sense out of what we just saw and what we just heard, okay? And I kind of cater to the younger group over here. So hear me now and hear me loud. What the hell is uh, Bootsy doing? Is he contradicting himself? Is he a walking, contradicting type person? <sighs> he don't like men and men on men, but he don't mind women on women on women. Okay, you don't have a problem with that. That's like hypocrisy at its best. Okay, he's always telling us or telling whoever will listen to him um, that he don't like gays. He'll think it's unnatural and all this kind of stuff. And I understand where he's coming from. I get it. I got it good. But if you're going to love on your daughter, for being lesbian, part of the gay community, I guess you need to love on the other people that you see that are huddled up together, okay? Whether it's male on male or female on female, okay? I'm just saying, make it fair. Make the football playing ground fair. <laughs> or you should not agree with what your daughter's doing and cut her out your life. You know what I'm saying? You can do that as well. But most of us that have kids, we're going to love on our kids regardless of who they are or what they do and whatever they try to do behind closed doors, okay? Or who they want to be with. We're going to try to still ride for our kids. We're not going to understand it, but we're going to put up with it, and we just ask the Lord to pray about it, okay? Well, we need to pray about it and ask the Lord about it, okay? To give us guidance and direction. We know what the book in the Bible says about uh, same-sex relationships. But again, God is a loving God, and he forgives so I ain't going to say he likes it because in the Bible it preaches against it. But we're not here for all of that. I'm just trying to make a compare or similarity of what in the hell Bootsy was going out here fussing about gay men. But his daughter is gay. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black people? <sighs> and I'm just saying people in general. I'm not just talking about the black people, okay? <sighs> but anyway, we get this story from rollingout.com and um, Bootsy is on the loose again. He's pretty much on the loose and, and, and rampant and raving about some things I guess he don't know shit about, but he has a mouth, he has a voice, and he wants everybody to listen to him, okay? Not many people listen to him, but the ones that do, more than likely are his day ones, day twos, day threes. They're going to ride with him regardless of how he expresses himself in public or not. But I just found it kind of curious, and I could just call it hypocr we call it hypocrisy at its best, when you don't like one set of people, but you can get with the other set of people because it affects your family. I, I don't understand how that goes. I really don't. Okay? But anyway, and you know, Busso already was sitting up there talking about T.I. was a snitch or a rat or whatever. Like, bro, didn't you, didn't you pretty much know all of this? Did you not know? Did you not hear? Okay? He wasn't trying to get in that gun charge, so he had to do what was necessary. And that means to rat on his, uh, or spill the beans on his deceased cousin. Which I'm kind of curious on how they're going to take T.I.'s word uh, over a person that's dead and can't defend himself. That's how I see how the uh, judicial system works. When you're a celebrity, when you're a part of the boule, when you're a part of some secret society, you can get away with a lot of things that just don't make sense. Okay? They just don't talk about it. It moves on, and people tend to not talk about it anymore, but that don't mean they forgot about it. But it means that the powers that be wanted to shut it down. Okay? <sighs> okay, because we know T.I. should have been up in jail, still serving time in jail. But they try to make him come out looking like a role model and wanted him to be the spokesperson on guns and violence and drugs. I'm like, what? Again, we're living in Solomon, what do you call it? Solomon Gabor days. And a lot of people are reckoning. A lot of people are waking up and seeing what is really what it is. You see what I'm saying? They ain't shielding themselves from what is reality and what is this make-believe. Because the people that do bad all day long, they're coming out. 
They coming out, they have their own platforms, and they showing you what they do, who they serve, and who they believe in as far as religion, okay? So if you're missing the boat and you're not catching, and not tuning in, you're not waking up, the only thing we can say is God bless you, okay? But anyway, going back to this particular video, it says Bootsy's daughter poses with girlfriends. Fan calls it karma. Mm-hmm, with Bootsy in that pink jacket. I'm like, come on now. Are you just rapping for breast awareness, cancer awareness for the uh, women? What the hell you got on a pink uh, a pink fuchsia, loud-ass jacket? Because, yes, as long as they've been keeping it quiet, long as it's like hearsay, what they keep quiet, I'm going to speak out loudly. Boosie, that's a fuchsia pink jacket. Are you giving us uh, issues? Are you giving us clues that you may be a part of the LGBTQT community? Okay, and the rest of the alphabet. But anyway, it goes and said bombastic. <clears throat> bombastic rapper Boozy Badass has been on a tirade against members of the LBGTQ community for a, for a few years now. Mm -hmm. By now, most fans or most music fans are aware that Boozy, who was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is Terrence Hatch, has an older daughter, Ivana Hatch, aka rapper Poison IV, who has been unapologetic about her homosexuality. She recently showed off her new girlfriend who posted the photos on her own Instagram page. Now, her girlfriend is looking kind of anorexic, but uh, maybe she's just trying to be a model because all models look anorexic. They star themselves to death to make boo-hoos of money, and they're unhappy because they can't eat or they eat and throw it up. You see what I'm saying? But anyway... Uh, the revelation that Poison Ivy was gay initially shocked legions of Boosie fans due to his rabid homophobia and the ver ver <coughs> virulent anti-LBGTQ statements he's made about rapper Lil Nas X and the transgender daughters of NBA legend Dwayne Wade and Gabriel Union. Now that his daughter is officially, uh, officially with her sexuality, Bootsy claims that he still supports and loves her with all his heart. Nevertheless, Bootsy told the Breakfast Club with a resolute tone in his voice that he will not give away his daughter's hand in marriage to another woman. But well, we'll wait and see, Bootsy. We'll wait and see. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> and we got a commenter said, Why do you guys care? How come Bootsy, Bootsy say all this stuff about Lil Nas X, but his daughter is a gay stud? He literally said on Breakfast Club, he wouldn't attend or support his daughter's marriage to a girl. He's homophobic ways. Not surprisingly, fans gleefully mock Boosie for the way he repeatedly touched Lil Nas X and especially G. Wade or Dwayne Wade for allowing his son Zaya to change his identity to a female. Boosie <clears throat> is a hypocrite. It's basically what Boosie is. And he don't know if he's coming or going. Because I really think he didn't know, well, he had to know to the fact that his uh, daughter was gay because she was in his home, I'm sure, at one point in time. Or he does go and visit her. So I don't understand the hypocrisy here. Okay, and then he trying to call out T.I. talking about he snitched. He can't work with no snitch. I'm like, what are y'all trying to not let us see? But all this foolishness going around here trying to... <clears throat> make us look at one thing so we'll get another thing that's happening currently in our social media realm, in our political world, <clears throat> and at our world at large. What are y'all trying to keep for people who love music? Y'all keep throwing all these different scenarios up with these artists to keep us for what y'all really doing. That is the question we should be answering. And, of course, if you made it to the end of this video, that is my other channel, Deb Chanel's 48's World, okay? Forget the show and just focus in on Deb Chanel's 48's World, and then you will find me over there on that platform, okay? Cutting up, chewing the fat, having conversations, because that's all we do. We have conversations over here at the house. We family. Why can't we discuss everything rationally, okay? And that's what we do. We do, we comment, we um, voice our opinions on certain um, um, articles that I may put on the platform be talking about. And like I said, they're all alleged, you know, 
We don't know this shit for a fact because I'm too lazy, like I told you. I ain't going out there trying to research nothing, but if it comes around or comes across my uh, media feed and I like it, I think I want to talk about it with the family, I bring it on over there. But I ain't got no more for this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.